Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to make a drawing blender based on a real life drawer. Today we're gonna end up with a drawer in our asset browser that we just can drag and drop into our scene, render it. So let's get started by going into the real world. I know it's it's a pain, but let's go into the real world and measure our drawer. So this is our first step, a crude drawing of our cupboard and now we continue on to measure it. Now I finished measuring the front side, now to the sides and the back, which I'll need to pull the cupboard forward. But basically that's all the measurements here. This is how far from the sides the knobs are. This is how high the whole drawer is so on and so forth, so let's continue. And now it's done. As you can see, I added some lines here because I didn't know that this was more com complex than it. I thought it was less complex. I added these circles that you can see he here. These are for mounting the back. Yeah, that's focus. Yeah, that's about it. And now we just put that into Blender. So there we go, we measured our drawer and now we're gonna build it in Blender. So first of all, we of course need our reference image and to make it easier for you all, I took a photograph and I'm going to put it in Blender. So split the window here, go into image editor here, open the folder where your image is, for me that's on the SD card and just drag and drop it into Blender. And there we go, we have our image in our preview here and we can read it. Now, after we put in our reference image, I noticed after recording the building process once that we are missing this size, which is 460. That just looks like 466, which it is, is not. Now let's start by making the top plane make a cube we know it's 900 by 460 by 20 so let's make that 900 by 460 by 20 and this is our top of our drawer let's move it up a little bit this is too high but we don't care now let's make the feet the feet are 30 by 35 by 800 so again 30 by 35 by 800 and these are in the wrong direction so it's actually 35 30 800 we make a new plane we press GZ with face snapping enabled and hover over the face here and then we can remove this face and we have our fo foot that is correctly on the top, on the zero, set zero here, and the origin is still at set zero. So that makes it easy to 
manipulate the feet. So make a cube. We know the side is 685 high, 685 high by 395 wide. So that should be the y axis, 395 wide and 20 thick because the plates are all 20 thick. Uh, now we made our side plane or side plate. We can move it up to the top of this foot. Oh, excuse me. With GZ and snapping enable. And move it to the side because it sits flush with this foot. So GX and snapping enabled. And now we can move the fo foot to the right uh, location. So let's move it out a bit and then move it in with GY. Then duplicate it, move it along the Y axis and press GY again. And then we have our draw side. Let's move that out of the way a bit. Duplicate it, move it along the X axis, rotate it around the set by 180 degrees and move it out of the way as well. And now we're going to make the back sides, which we know are 800 wide. So let's make them. Make a new cube. And this just repeats itself. It's 330 high, 20 thick and um, 800 wide. So this is the back. Uh, this is this here and the series are both 330. This isn't 330, this is 20 high. I just misdrew that. Yeah, let's move it up to the top of the feet again and back because it sits flush with the feet here. And now we can select the feet and the side walls and move them on the X axis with GX again to touch this side. Then we duplicate this side, move it down and press G GZ to move it up again. And now we make the bottom plate, this plate that is 20 high. So let's make it 20 high, 800 wide. This is the right 800 wide. And here we need it to be something like 400. I didn't measure that because it's under the, okay, that's too much, 300. Didn't measure it because it's under the drawer and I thought I don't think we will need that to be precise. Anyways, we move it up to the side, move it along the Y axis again. Now we can select the top plane, move it down with GZ again, and there we go. We've got our draw, except for the top, uh, the front panels done. Now to the front panels, that again is just a cube, which is 200 high, and I'll explain why. Uh, this here, these 205 include the gap between the drawers. So it's 200 high, but I measured 205 because I'm stupid. Uh, it's 20 deep and 800 wide. And now we can just move it to the right location. So with face snapping active, move it to the top move it to the front and because it's not flush with actually it is and i forgot the whole thing here it's actually flush with the front i just didn't never notice that so now we move it down by 205 by pressing gz minus 205 and make another one and do the same again gz minus 205 and there we go it's nearly done now, these are too high because we have forgotten a plank up here. And this plank, I will measure. This plank is 35 high, so let's make a new cube. Again, 20 millimeters thick, uh, 800 wide, and 35 high. Move it up, move it to the front here and move the drawers up and down by minus by five millimeters. So there's a gap up here and there we go. If Now we have our drawers. Only thing we need are the knobs and then we're done. So let's now create the knobs. We'll start by making a cylinder 
And if I remember, I'll insert an image of the knob. Scale it down to about this size. Extrude it up. Scale it up. Add make a few divisions in here. Maybe make it a bevel. So we have a nice loop here. Bevel it here as well. Maybe only once. And there we go, we have a nice knob, let's shade it smooth, and this looks horrible, so let's press Shift Q, special set auto smooth, OK, and there we go, we have a nice knob. Let's rotate it around the X axis by minus 90 degrees, and move it to its right location. First we have to move it out, and then we can move it to its right location. <laughs> And there we go. We have our drawer done. Now, I'll just rush through the making it an asset. If you want to do that, if you want to learn how to do that, I'd advise you to watch my tutorial, which is now right here. So let's call our this scene unjoined and make a full copy. Call this scene joint. Select whatever we want. C press Ctrl J. Say shade sm auto smooth. Okay. Set the origin to 3D cursor. Save. Call it maybe cupboard. Save it in my asset browser. Furniture tutorial. Save as. Right click. Mark as asset. And there we go, we have it marked as an asset in my IKEA assets library right here. And we can just drag and drop it in, and it's nice. Now to the materials. I'm going to make a very basic material here. I'm going to make the cupboard white and the knobs black. So let's select all the knobs and make it a new material, and another slot, and another new material. And press assign in the slot here. Call the material knobs maybe without a capital N, and make it black. The material here we'll call cupboard and we'll leave it white. And now if we go into rendered and set an HDRI, we can see it's a nice cupboard. So let's make a render real quick. Make a, Anyways, let's make a large plane here and extrude two edges upwards. Maybe rotate it so there's no large shadow in it, rotate the drawer to fit it. We also could re rotate the HDRI, but that's not fun. Make a new camera, position the camera with Control alt numpad 0 Oh, I don't have screencast on here. I do, but it doesn't like me. It all, it, it, screencast seems to be a buggy mess. And now we can just render it with F12. So that's the tutorial. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something and I hope you'll, I'll see you next time. Bye now. Yes, I ruthlessly copy Louis Rossman's outro.